Alright, this is note 11-4, using logs to solve exponential equations. This should be a recap, review, super easy uh, lesson. Okay, um, on these, when we're solving for x, all we have to do is convert from exponential to log and then solve. So the base of this exponent is a 3. So it becomes the base for my log. So I have log base 3. And then 30 from the other side comes over. My exponent goes to the opposite side of the equation. So now I just put into my calculator log base 330. So crank up handy dandy. Go to log base. And then I type in base 330. Hit enter. And we're going to go to three decimal places because of our project. So that means I'll look at the next number. It's a 9. So that makes the 5 go up. So this is 3.096. 3.096. X equals 3.096. Too easy. Very simple, simple, simple. Next one. First thing I've got to do, we want our x by itself, so I've got to move everything else that's over here, which is a negative 4. I have to take it across, becomes a plus 4. I've got 10 raised to the x power equals 30 plus 4, or 34 plus 4 is 38. Now I'm ready to convert it to a log. It's a base of 10, so this is a log. Base 10, 38 equals x. Take handed dandy calculator. Type it in math. And then I had a base 10. 38, hit enter. Three decimal places, it's a seven on the fourth spot, so it moves that nine to a zero, which bumps everything else up as well. So this would be 1.58, 1 1.58, and then we can go to zero is fine. 1.580, just for grins. And that is it, too easy. Next one is more of the same, same. Everybody knows your name. Number three. Uh, first things first, I want the x by itself, so I gotta move that plus 14 across, becomes a minus 14. Five to the x power equals 21. You'll still say it's not that. Minus 14 equals seven. So I have a log base five, seven equals x. Take old handed dandy calculator, crank it up, math, arrow up twice, we have a log, motherless goats, get off of my screen, here we go, uh oh, uh oh, undle, undle. Yeah. here we go, we got 5, and that's log base 5, 7, hit enter, I'm going three decimal places. The fourth decimal place is a zero, so I leave the nine alone. So 1.209. 1 1.209 is my answer. Flip it. Some more easy stuff. If I am having multiplication, what gets rid of multiplication? If they multiply by 3, divide. But before I do that, I've got to get rid of the plus 4. So I move that plus 4 across, becomes a minus 4. So I have 3 times 1 half raised to the x power equals 15. Now, to get rid of that 3, divide by 3, both sides. That leaves me 1 half raised to the x power equals 5. So now I'm ready to change it from exponential to logarithmic. So I have log base 1 half 5 equals x. Ready to put an old handy dandy calculator. So we have math log base, it's one half, one half, and five, hit enter, and I see that my fourth spot is a nine, so it rounds that one up to a two, 
So it's negative 2.322. Negative 2.322 is my answer. Negative three, uh oh, negative two point three two two. Okay, next one. More of the same. Base is a two. So I have log base two, three point six equals four x. So I gotta figure out what this is worth. And then I'm going to divide it by 4. So log base 2, 3.6. And it gives me this guy here. Now, I would just keep it like this and then divide by 4. So it will give you a more exact for your project. Okay, so we know it's 1.847999, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and go 1.84. Seven nine nine six equals four x. Okay, but I'm just going to hit divided by four and round that one to three decimal places. Okay, because so I know I divide by four, and that'll give me a more exact answer. So three decimal places. If the fourth one's a nine. It means that rounds up to a two. So it's point four six two. Okay. And our last one. Log base 19, 3 equals x plus 4. So I've got to figure this guy out. So math. Log base 19, 3. Hit enter. And it's point. Three seven three one one four three equals x plus four. Solving for x, so I take my four across, it becomes a minus four. So I take that answer that was already there, and I'm going to hit subtract four. Hit enter, and it tells me negative three point six two six. That's an eight, so it rounds that six to a seven. So it's be negative three point six two seven. So x would equal negative three point six two seven. Negative three point six two seven. Okay, the problems that you're going to do on A eleven dash four is one, three, six, seven, nine, and ten. And then now you also can do part three of your project. You now know how to do that one as well. This concludes notes for 11.4.